What is a skew-symmetric matrix? Let A be a square matrix of order N. We say that A is skew-symmetric If you take the transpose of the matrix and it's equal to negative 1 times A or in general minus A. So these are popular matrices and we call them skew symmetric matrix. We want to show that if we take the determinant of a skew symmetric matrix, it is equal to negative 1 to power n times the determinant of the matrix A. Let us begin. In proving this statement, recall that the determinant of the transpose of a matrix is equal to the determinant of that matrix. And if you have a scalar multiplication, the determinant of C times A is equal to C to power N times the determinant of the matrix A. So these are important properties that we're going to use here. Since the determinant of the transpose of A is equal to the determinant of A. And at the same time, the determinant of A can be written as the determinant of its transpose. And by definition of skew symmetric matrix, it's equal to the determinant of minus A. Following the property, this C is equal to negative one. So this can be written as the determinant of negative one times A. So as you can see, C is equal to negative one and following the relation between the determinant of CA and the determinant of A, this is equal to negative one to power N because this matrix is of order N times the determinant of A. So we just prove this property. Another important property of skew symmetric matrices is that if they have odd order, so please pay attention here, it's an important note for you here. If A is a skew symmetric matrix of odd order, then the determinant of A must be zero. Why is that? What's the reason behind it? Note that since the determinant of a skew symmetric matrix is negative one to power N of determinant of A, and since N is odd, like what? Like three, five, seven, and so on. I'm not using one, I'm just starting at three, so it makes more sense. Negative one to power n is equal to negative one. It means that the determinant of a is equal to 
negative 1 times the determinant of a. Now we're going to do a little bit of algebra here. Remember that from algebra, if you have a quantity on the left-hand side, like k, and it is equal to negative k, we can bring negative k to the other side. We get 2k equal to 0, where k is 0. We're doing basically the same thing. Here we say that the determinant of a is equal to minus determinant of a. So if you bring this guy to the other side, you get two determinant of a equal to zero. Two times determinant of a is equal to zero or determinant of a must be equal to zero. So we just prove that if you have a skew symmetric matrix of odd order, then the determinant is always zero.